online catalog at ksl.com. Well, those who have been able to get up to the resorts oh. and enjoy all of the powder the last wow. few days, they've enjoyed not only the snow, but the warmer temperatures. Yes, and I've got the ski report for you coming up in just a minute. How about that? You timed this one perfectly. In Chopper 5, we found the inversion, and it is very strong in the lowest valleys right down near the Great Salt Lake, right near the uh, Utah Lake area, and that's where fog formed this morning, locally dense in spots. Valley inversions are very common here in Utah during the winter time. We believe that the storms will be more frequent this year, helping to keep the valley inversions to a minimum. Here's a beautiful picture. I just had to show you this one. It was sent in by Jonathan Baker, Powder Mountain, uh, just one of a gazillion photos we have in the photo gallery. And uh, yeah, that was a winner. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the winners go in this calendar, and this calendar is put together by our company, and it is done for free. We do it, and all the money is donated. You buy the calendar for you, your grandchildren, and everybody else, and all of that money goes to benefit Primary Children's Medical Center. Okay, so I want you to get out and buy one of those calendars. The other thing you can do if you have an Android or an iPhone, you can get the KSL Weather app. On the uh, Android, all you do is go to market, and then you, uh, push the, you, you push in their KSL weather, and it'll find it. And then the uh, iPhone, you go to ksl.com, and you look up the, uh, I, the iPhone application at ksl.com in the weather area. So here's what the snow was like in 2009. We had 140% of normal during December. 2008, 170%. 2007, 244, big month. 81% in 2006 and 57% in 2005. It looks like the trend in December is for more snow to fall, and this year we feel like there will be more frequent storms, and of course, that means there will be some more snow and uh, less inversions. Three days in the 50s, we have 11 days in the 40s, we have 13 days in the 30s, we have three days in the 20s, and we usually have one day in the teens. And it looks like the precipitation is 1.23 uh, with 12.2 inches of snow falling typically during the month. Now, the ski report. Beaver Mountain opens December 3rd. Alt has 62 inches on the ground. Brighton, 60 inches of snow on the ground. Eagle Point opens up December 15th. Park City says 29 inches on the ground, Snow Basin 39 inches, 39 inches and uh, Snowbird 60 inches of snow. So, folks, if you want to get out of the valley inversion, you're going to have to go to the mountains. Now, that obviously is wrong. That's 32. 31 in Salt Lake and 36 in Provo. There's the cold front that will be here tomorrow. The problem is, will it be a mix of rain, snow, and freezing rain in the morning? That's going to be the big problem, but it will arrive and uh, bring us a change in the weather, help to stir up the inversion a little bit. Right now, the snow and the precipitation staying mainly north. We do have some clouds moving in this afternoon, but no, no rain or snow expected today as temperatures stay in the 30s and 40s. Now, tomorrow, that's where the main precipitation band will be from Elko to Logan and Salt Lake City eastward. Seven-day forecast, St. George 53 today, up to 59 on Sunday, 52 with a chance for showers on Monday. For the Wasatch Front, colder in the valleys, warmer on the benches, near 40 on the benches, and then tomorrow, that rain, snow, freezing rain mix in the morning. In the afternoon, just some showers. Another little storm on Monday. I've, I've given you a lot of information there. You have. Maybe have too to much. And retain it all. Probably ought to not do too much next time. Okay. Or everybody will say, what? Take